So I've heard that the, the Porsche Arena crowd is, is pretty big. So I would imagine that the Porsche Arena is probably going to be unlike anything I've been competing in front of before. I think the atmosphere will be really good. I heard that there was gonna be 6,500 people in Porsche Arena tonight, sold out crowd, so it should be really loud and very exciting. Uh, awesome, the lights and the sound. Uh, sounds incredible, yeah, uh, looking forward to it. L'ambiance avec autant de spectateurs, c'est toujours impressionnant. Après, c'est quand même gratifiant parce que il y a du monde pour soutenir, même si c'est pas nous, on le prend comme si c'était pour nous. Donc, c'est bien. Yeah, I think uh, the atmosphere will be pretty good. You know, it's going to be a little bit different with having the crowd 360 degrees around us. So that'll be a different atmosphere that we're not used to. But uh, yeah, I think it'll be. It was great all the other years, so I can't see it being any different. No, na pewno będzie gorąco. Zobaczymy jak jak będzie wszyscy, ile będzie publiczności. Mam nadzieję, że miejsca będą zajęte. No zobaczymy. I have never been in front of this big crowd. Yeah, I'm pretty sure tonight's going to be uh, extremely big too, yeah. It's my, definitely my favourite arena that we've been to, so uh, looking forward to getting back out there. Also, the atmosphere is with Sicherheit gigantisch, so I think the Bude wird abgerissen. The Steel Timber Sports Team World Championship Foreman. In the team competition, teams of four each have to compete in a four-discipline relay. The order of the disciplines during the team heat is as follows. First up, stock saw, followed by underhand chop, then single buck, and finally standing block chop. Each discipline is executed by a separate team member and the subsequent discipline can only be started after the previous discipline has been completed. The overall time for a team only counts after finishing the last discipline. Starting a discipline too early will result in a 15 second time penalty. The team competition demands the utmost concentration, endurance and precision, and the teams have to plan their efforts strategically over the course of the rounds. First, they have to show their skills in a time trial. Only the top 12 teams from the time trial will make it directly to the round of 16. The remaining slower teams from the time trial are relegated to the last chance round. In this round, they need to complete one heat and only the four fastest teams from the last chance round advance to the round of 16. The rest are eliminated from competition. In the round of 16, the knockout phase of the competition begins. Here, the fastest teams from the time trial will face the slower teams in reverse order. The teams now continue to compete in the knockout system through the quarterfinals and semifinals. The losers of the semifinals will fight for the bronze medal in the small final. After this, the top two teams will compete one more time to see who takes the team world championship title. Welcome to Stuttgart and the Steel Timber Sports Team World Championship 2023. And here we see the results from the time trial that took place this afternoon. 
For the personal best time, the USA was able to clinch the time trial ahead of Team New Zealand and the title defenders from Australia. All the teams up to 12th place are already qualified for the round of 16, and the teams behind them will have another chance to qualify for the next round in the last chance qualifier. In the last chance, Great Britain, Austria, Norway, and the Netherlands were able to prevail. Hungary, Ireland, and Romania have been eliminated. So let's start with the second round. In the first heat, the home team, Germany, will compete against their neighbors from France. The USA gets heat five against the Netherlands, and Australia has to go up against Austria. Team Deutschland macht aus, dass wir ein sehr junges Team sind und die Jungs alle sehr viel Bock haben und sehr, sehr heiß sind. Wir haben sehr stark trainiert. Team Deutschland ist, ich glaube, so gut wie noch nie aufgestellt. Ich denke, wir haben alle bis auf die Zähne motiviert. Wir freuen uns auf Team Germany! Das ist auf jeden Fall sehr besonders, wenn du Freunde und Familie im eigenen Land dabei hast. Die Motivation ist eigentlich immer ziemlich hoch bei solchen Wettkämpfen, gerade wenn man Team Deutschland vertreten kann, das ist natürlich immer was ganz Besonderes. Listen to the arena going absolutely crazy for their local heroes here. Wenn wir jetzt die Halle hinter uns haben, dann wird das natürlich noch mal ein anderes Gefühl sein, was uns noch mal ein bisschen mehr pusht. Das ist überragend von Tony Martin! Das wird gigantisch, die werden die Bude abreißen und wir versuchen es auch. Holy smokes, folks, what a finish there! France against Team Germany. Tail of the tape has both these teams pretty well matched up with their personal best times. Should be an interesting heat between these two. Let's check it out. Starting off on the stock saw. That's a nice clean start for Team France and they get over to the underhand chop quickly. Danny Martin working the underhand chop for Team Germany. And he is through quick and very close behind them is Team France over to the single buck. Yeah, Puy Barre for France on the single buck is solid there, but Germany does a good job to get through it before them. And now it's on to the final leg here, the standing block chop. It's going to be a tough one. Will it be Team France or Team Germany getting through? It's going to be France ahead of Germany just by a hair. We win together and we lose together. For me, I've been doing it for 13 years, and for me, the victory has made me stronger than the win. So, therefore, we have to see the positive. It's a shame now, but we have to go ahead and look forward. The winner is France! Team France wins the World Cup Qualifier in 2018. The winner is Team France! All right, next up we have Team Poland up against Team Belgium. Team Belgium in a tough battle here against a very strong Polish side. There's Mikolai Grunwald, one of the Grunwald family members in the mix, and then sending it over to Simon Grunwald on the underhand chop, going up against Kern Martins, but Simon Grunwald so strong there. Onto that single buck, and it's looking good for Team Poland, who has taken the lead in this heat right now. Standing block chop, this one is going to be a battle between Mikhail Dubitsky, who is very quick and already onto the second side, and Kamil von Ramdong from the Belgian side, but it is just too far ahead for Poland, and they win this one with a bullet. Het ging best goed. We zijn er hier gekomen om ons nationaal record te verbreken. Dat hebben we gedaan. We wouden dat nog eens doen. Dat is niet gelukt. Dus uh, dat is jammer. Maar we zijn tevreden met hoe dat we het vandaag gedaan hebben. All right, next up, Team Canada up against Team Italy. Team Canada definitely with the advantage in the tail of the tape. And right away, Italy trouble with the stock saw. Had to restart on the pull. And they are really in a bad way here as Marcel Dupuy on the underhand chop is very strong. But Team Italy's done a good job to try and keep up the pace with Canada. Already on to single buck and they are through. And it is on to Sterling Hart for the Canadian side on the standing block chop. And at this point, it's just a scholastic bit of hitting for Canada to finish that one off and move on to the next round. È andata bene, dai. Eh, abbiamo fatto qualche errorino ancora. Eh, siamo una squadra giovane, abbiamo tanto da migliorare, ma penso che negli anni sentirete ancora parlare di noi e sentirete tanto parlare di noi. Eh, siamo determinatissimi e negli anni ci saremo. All right, here we go with Switzerland going up against Sweden. It should be a pretty good matchup here. Sweden's been coming on strong. Switzerland really close to the line on that stock sock cut. 
both of them over to the underhand chop Barry Swan for Sweden. He's had trouble in this in the last little while, and it's bit him in the butt again as Switzerland has moved on to the single buck ahead of Sweden, and they are looking good right now. Ollie Reinhardt focused to wait for that disc to drop, and he moves on to the standing block chop just ahead of Sweden. Sweden quick to the other side of their block, but it looks like this might be Switzerland's win, and it is theirs, and Switzerland is pumped. Jag skulle nog säga att vi inte är jättenöjda med den här tiden utan vi, hade, vi kan mer och det vet vi men vi har svårt att skjuta idag. Då. And the winner is Team Switzerland! Continuing on with the round of 16, we've got the United States going up against the Netherlands here. USA had a strong showing in the time trial with the fastest time, so they are the team to beat at the moment. Netherlands doing a good job to keep up as we head over to Red McNoll and Matt Kogar on the underhand. Red McNoll in the orange, Matt Kogar right there looking like he's through quick. McNoll still working on his as the USA is already through their single buck and gives it to big Jason Lenz, but this is a lot of trouble for the Netherlands as basically there's no chance for them to catch up with the big man Lenz on that standing block chop, and there it goes, and the USA wins it again. Ja, tegen Amerika wisten we wel dat we zouden verliezen, maar we wilden natuurlijk wel een goede tijd neerzetten. Het is altijd een beetje de strijd met de Belgen en we moeten toegeven ze waren vandaag sneller. Maar we gaan harder trainen en we gaan ze inhalen. All right, next heat we've got the Czech Republic up against Great Britain. One, go. Czech Republic definitely with the advantage here. Nice start by both of these teams on the stock saw. Good, clean cut by both of them. Cookies drop at roughly the same time. And we head over to the underhand chop. Maciej Klima doing it for the Czech Republic. Rob Chatley for Great Britain. And Czech Republic is through first. Rob Chatley struggling a little bit and a bit slow. And now onto that single buck. Holy smoke, smokes, were they fast through that single buck? And look at this, Stenik Maras on the standing block for the Czech Republic onto that second side. It's wiggling and waggling, it's done. Czech Republic has won this one. And there we see Glenn Penlington with his final driver. We had our, had our sights set quite high. Uh, thought we were gonna come in around the 102 marks, what we've been doing back at home. But uh, unfortunately not tonight hasn't come, come together for us. Second to last heat of the round of 16. This time Australia, the defending champions going up against Austria. This is a tough one for Austria. But they're in well, so far so good. But it's Raiden Meyer on the underhand chop for Australia. And there's nobody better at that discipline than him. And he shows exactly why. And he is through quick, sending it over to the single buck. Austria doing their level best to try and keep up. But right now there's just no chance as Australia has already started on that standing block chop. Armin Kugler doing his best to get it fast, but it's Australia through in a pinch. No problem at all, and Armin Kugler finishes it off for Austria. Hätte besser sein können gegen Australien zu verlieren, ist natürlich keine Schande. Wir sind halt jetzt nicht ganz auf unsere persönliche Bestzeit herangekommen. Wir wären gern unter 1.10 gewesen. Das hat heute nicht geklappt, aber ja, so ist das. All right, next up, New Zealand going up against Norway. New Zealand is aiming to try and get into that final, and they start well on that stock saw. Norway clean through as well, both sending over to the underhand chop at roughly the same time. Underhand chop looking good for New Zealand as they're already on through and send it over to the single buck. And this has been an area where a lot of the teams have struggled on that underhand chop, but New Zealand looking fine and dandy as they are already on to the standing block chop. And it's going to be one more driver for them. New Zealand gets it and Norway is out, unfortunately. Det gick overraskende bra. Vi fikk 1-0-9, som er tett opp under vårt beste fra tidligere, så vi er fornøyd. Ja, jeg trodde det gikk veldig smooth. Vi bare ville gå ut der, gjøre hver event veldig godt, veldig strong og smooth, og jeg tror vi gjorde det. Så vi bare pikket opp litt tid i hver runde, og bringe hjem gullet. Italy is an extremely strong team, so we went out there, we gave it everything we absolutely could. We weren't holding anything back. Uh, the atmosphere is pretty electric. Um, I don't know how many thousands of fans are here, but um, it's a pretty rowdy crowd. It definitely makes it easy to get fired up. Uh, 
Ich glaube, uns ist es insgesamt sehr, sehr gut gelaufen. Wir haben den Time Trial super gemeistert, wir haben den ersten Hit gut gemacht, wir äh, können Schweden rauskicken. Das war wirklich ein Highlight, ein top europäisches Team. Und in Switzerland! Oh mein Gott! Oli Reinhardt mit einem absolut fantastischen Final Run. Sie haben einen Personal Best. So this is what it all looks like after the round of 16. Germany was eliminated as the home team against France, which is now competing up against the top team from the USA in the first quarter final. Canada will have to compete against the Czech Republic. Poland will deal with Australia and Switzerland will face New Zealand. And before we start the quarter final, here's a brief retrospective of the Timber Sports 2013 and 16 World Championships in the Porsche Arena in Stuttgart. No, I've been to the Porsche Arena twice before in 2013 and 16. Oh, mate, it was just amazing. You know, they didn't realise it was a world record. All we wanted with them was uh, the win, and all the boys did their job perfectly and just so happy for everyone. Um, you know, it's my, definitely my favourite arena that we've been to. A big crowd like this in 2016, which it was held here. I was part of Team USA back then, so. Matt put in a great underhand, the stock Sawyer. Maddie was great, Jamie did what he had to do, and uh, I finished it off, man. Yeah, Mal Stuttgart, ich im Team und ja, ich fühl's jetzt noch und wenn man dran denkt, ich hab Gänsehaut. Adam Lowe experienced a roller coaster of emotions in Stuttgart in 2013 and 2016. It was awesome. Um, great to be the one struck in front, um, but a great race, a, gr a great way to finish a great event. Yeah, pretty disappointing. On a scale of one to ten, about 300. That's pretty overwhelming out there, and uh, yeah, it's end of the day we're human. So this is my seventh year competing as a member of Team USA. It's the first time we've ever beat New Zealand. I am so proud of these boys. <laughs> first time I won the World Championship was here, was 2016, I remember. Let's hope it's not my last time this year. Here you can see both the 2013 and 2016 Team World Champions in Stuttgart, New Zealand and Australia. So let's get back to 2023 where we are in quarterfinal action. There's your list of competitive pairings. Losers will be eliminated, winners will move on to the semifinals. First up, Team France versus Team USA. This should be a good battle. As you know, the USA had the fastest time in time trial and they were very good in their round of 16 heat and they should be well warmed up by now. Quick and easy start by both of these teams on the stock saw. Team France is actually looking a little bit quicker on the cut on the stock saw. Oh, just a half second on that cookie drop and it moves over to the underhand chop now. And it's looking very good for the USA. Matt Kogar always strong on this discipline as he is cutting through very, very clean. France working hard to try and keep up with the USA, but that is it. USA is through and now moving on to the single buck. Now, Pierre Puy Barret for France is very strong on the single buck, but he is going to have to put that motor into full gear to try and catch up with the USA, who has already moved on to standing block chop. Louis Voinsal waiting patiently on the standing as uh, Pierre Puy Barret working hard on that single buck. But at this point, there is no chance to catch up with Jason Lenz on the standing as he is on that second side and hammering away. The USA should have this one, and they do at 53-43. And France's Louis Voinsal working hard to try and get themselves at a respectable time here. This young man is solid. We're going to see good things from him in the future. Good job by France, but they lose this one, unfortunately. Right, heat number two in the quarterfinals. Canada going up against the Czech Republic. Two well matched up teams with best times of under a minute. Nice start on Stocksaw. And it is Canada getting to the underhand chop just a hair ahead of the Czech Republic. Maciej Klima on the underhand for the Czech Republic. 
Marcel Dupuis shifting over to the other side of his block for Canada, looking very good. Marcel's in fantastic form this year, and he has been very, very strong for Canada. Maches Klima coming out of the rookies just a year and a half ago is now through, and the Czech Republic is doing their level best to try and keep up with Canada here. Look at the speed of the Czech saw. Oh my goodness, that is fantastic. But Canada is through the bottom, and Sterling Hart now has it for Canada on the standing block chop. Sterling Hart is a premier athlete and a fantastic axe man. Moving over to the other side of his block, Canada's got the lead, but only by one or two strokes. Will they make it to the semifinals, or will the Czech Republic catch up? Canada's done it, they're on to the semifinals. Czech Republic very close behind, though, as one more driver will do it, and it is done and dusted. Of the winner is Team Canada! On a affronté l'équipe la, euh, la plus performante, on va dire, pratiquement aujourd'hui. Donc euh, là, l'objectif était un peu différent, c'était de battre euh, le record de France. Mais bon, ça n'a pas été fait pour aujourd'hui, mais ce sera pour la prochaine fois. Nous avons fait tout le temps bien. Le Canada est très bien, mais nous avons fait un bel time trial, un bel chasse time trial, où nous avons fait un européen record. Takže jsme uh, spokojeni. Škoda, že jsme prohráli s Kanadou. The team to beat with the world record from 2018 in Liverpool, a time of 45-10. My, my default, just because of their their uh, track records, is Australia. Those are the big guns. But a great run from Australia. And that absolute brutality they've got in that team. Maya Head, Argent and O'Toole just flew through the wood today. Probably Australia. Yeah, coming, coming up against them uh, will be extremely tough here. Yeah. Oh, definitely. We want to win back-to-back -back Australia. Has won the team now a few times in a row. We've won the individual a couple of times, so we want to just keep it, all those gold medals going back to Australia. Team Australia aren't slowing up at all here. You know, the history of our sport that we've got so good, and that's what makes us special sets us apart from everyone else. What a team, the team to be. Make some noise for the team of Australia! Versus coming daily under pressure. We're live with the formula in chemistry. Your memories spark and motivate and make the industry shake. We put the balls in the place. And Australia repeats for a third time in a row wow. as the team world champions. Heat should be an interesting one. Team Poland up against the defending champions, Team Australia. Team Poland has been very, very good, and they've been coming on strong with some fantastic Stand talent, but Team Australia is timber. just so determined Three, and two, so one, well balanced go. out. Here we go. Here we see Jacek Grunwald on that stock saw, the father of those two strong Grunwald boys. Lawrence O'Toole doing it for Australia on Stocksaw. Heading over to Braden Meyer on the underhand chop. He's going up against Simon Grunwald. These two are very, very strong and very evenly matched up. Simon Grunwald just out of the rookies this year. And look at how fantastic this kid is chopping. It's amazing. But Braden Meyer through quick. He is a world record holder on that discipline, and it shows. And there we go to a classic single buck battle here between Poland and Australia. Australia threw quick in one of the better disciplines for them. Brad Delosa is the king of single buck and he is through. And uh, Mitch Argent already on the second side of the standing block chop as Mikhail Dubitsky for Poland has to do a lot of work to catch up. But it is well done and dusted in a time of 50.58 for Australia.
Mikhail Dubitsky working hard to get through that block. You can see the power and the intensity of that man. He's also done it, but they are unfortunately eliminated from competition today. Next heat up, and there's been speculation that Switzerland might be the dark horse with a very strong team this year, but they're in tough against Team New Zealand here. Let's see how they do, and will they make it into the semifinals? A good start and a clean start for Switzerland there. New Zealand right on the cut, and it moves over to Christoph Geisler for Switzerland on the underhand chop, going up against Jack Jordan, who is your trophy champion from this year. And Jack Jordan over to the other side quickly. Christoph Geisler, 49 years old and still effective and present in these sports. It's unbelievable how fantastic of an athlete he is, but Jack Jordan is through sending it over to the single buck and now just waiting on the cut through from Christoph Geisler to give a chance for him and Canadian here on that single buck. He's very strong, but he's going to have to be mega fast in order to give Ollie Reinhardt a chance to catch up with Nate McDonald. Nate McDonald on the standing block for New Zealand onto the second side already, and New Zealand is looking good like they want to take the title this year, and boy, they sure would love to have it. One more should do it, and that's it. New Zealand goes on to the semis. Switzerland fighting hard. Ollie Reinhardt moving over to the other side of his block now. He's going to give it everything he's got to try and get a good time in here. He's a very strong young man, good competitor. He struggled a little bit with injury the last couple of seasons, but this year he's looking great. No, mogło pójść lepiej, no ale co, sport, e, drewno trochę nam nie dopasowało, ale humory dopasują najważniejsze. Przegraliśmy, na drugi rok wygramy. Jetzt am Schluss hat es nicht ganz geklappt, das gibt es, das ist schon Sport. Wir müssen zwei Nationalrekorden aufstellen, ich glaube, wir können dankbar sein mit dem und äh, wir haben das beste Team bis jetzt von der Schweiz aufstellen. Well, that's the quarterfinals done and dusted. So let's take a look at the tournament tree. The USA, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand have been able to qualify for the semis, meaning that all of the European teams have left the competition despite very strong performances. But now it's getting really exciting as we head to the semifinals, and the first heat will be a battle of the 49th parallel between the USA and Canada. I mean, there's not any single person in this competition that's not here to win. Europe has come a long, long way in the short amount of time. Weil die Europäer auch immer näher an die Overseas rankommen. Poland has really stepped up his game. No, może, może znajdzie się jakiś czarny koń w końcu. In just in a very, very short time, they've got an awesome program in Sweden. It was kind of our redemption run, and we knew we had to leave everything out there on the deck, and I think we did that. So it's clear who the favorites are. Des équipes, très fort personne, comme la Nouvelle-Zélande et l'Australie. No, na pewno, na pewno Nowa Zelandia, Australia, jak zawsze. Maybe someone from New Zealand or Australia. Probably Australia. New Zealand, Australia. New Zealand, Australia, and the US to kind of come out on top. Oh, definitely. We want to win back to back Australia. Yeah, coming up against them uh, will be extremely tough here. Yeah. USA wins this battle you can blame Canada but it is the USA up against the Canadians in semi-final heat number one this will be a monumental battle of the 49th parallel two neighbors going against it and as they say good fences make good neighbors
start on stock saw by both these teams looking very good who's going to have the smoother cut it is going to be Canada with a little bit of an advantage to the underhand chop Marcel Dupuis looking good Matt Kogar also good onto the other side these guys are pretty evenly matched up here Matt Kogar with a little bit more pace on those drivers and he gets through sending it over to the single buck now Marcel Dupuis having some trouble there as he was a bit slow on that second side and now it is the USA with the advantage Jason Lenz on standing block chop the guy is rangy he is super tall and he's got the power to go with it he moves to the other side of that block Sterling Hart trying to keep up with him almost steps on a piece of a chip on the ground as he moves to the second side but Jason Lenz has done it in a season's best personal best for the United States in under 50 seconds Canada 52-3-0 but unfortunately Canada will have to battle it out in the small final for third place I believe I heard they cut the best time and they've ever had in history, so uh, congratulations to them, they earned it, uh, if they cut the best they've ever cut. Uh, you know, we, we had an awesome run, but there's not much you can do against a, a team like that. It was an amazing time for Team USA. In fact, it was the fifth best time in the team format ever posted. Only the Australians have been faster so far, and we'll see them now as Team Australia will battle against Team New Zealand. So this is a monumental battle that's been years in the making. Only one of these two teams will move to the final today. New Zealand wants some revenge after losing it to Australia last year. Will they be able to do it? It's gonna be a tough call here. Let's go. Go! Dead even starred by both of these teams. Lawrence O'Toole on stocks off for Australia. And it is also dead even on the underhand chop. Look at this. Braden Meyer in the green for Australia. As you know, he is very strong here, but Jack Jordan, he is no slouch, and he has shown his quality as an ax man. He's done great on the underhand chop all day long. Will he be able to keep up with Braden Meyer? Oh my goodness, one final swing he has to get through to make sure it's broken, and that may have cost New Zealand a little bit of time there. Australia looking good on that single box. New Zealand looking very good as well. Holy smoke, this is about as tight a heat as it gets. Two absolute Goliath teams added head, head to head against each other. Fantastic battle here. Mitch Argent looking good on the standing, and he's got it! Mitch Argent's done it for Australia. They go to another final, but how close was that? Oh my goodness, what a battle. How it sort of ended. Uh, proud of the guys for, you know, fighting um, all the way to the end there. But um, to, yeah, not come away with the wins. Really disappointing for you know how far we've come and how much training and hard work we've put in. That disappointment is understandable for the New Zealand side who had set themselves a title as their goal. The USA won against the Canadians with the best performance of the season. In the final, they'll meet the favorite, Australia. New Zealand will have to go against Canada in the so-called small final. So, Team Canada, Team New Zealand. This one is about who will take third place in the competition. And let's see how it plays out with these two very strong teams battling against each other. Athletes, ready! Stand to your timber. Three, 
two, one, go! Keep a close eye on the battle on underhand shot between Jack Jordan from New Zealand and Marcel Dupuis from Canada. That could be the telltale sign. It's a good start though on Stocksaw and Canada gets the first driver into that underhand block. Marcel Dupuis, as I said, has been in top form all season. He's onto the other side, about a half driver ahead of Jack Jordan. Jack Jordan's got power, height, and youth on his side, but Marcel Dupuis looking very good. Oh my goodness, what a clean through from Jack Jordan this time. Marcel Dupuis sends it over to single buck, and now it is about who is quick on this one. Canada looking very good here. New Zealand getting close to the bottom. Canada playing a great game of catch-up. It's one half stroke difference between the two. Heading over to Sterling Hart and Nate McDonald on standing block chop. The two anchors hammering away at the block. Sterling looking good. Both of them onto the second side about even with each other. Who will have that final winning driver? And it's going to be Sterling Hart for Canada. Canada takes third place. And look at the elation on Sterling Hart and Marcel Dupuis as they hug each other. Fantastic job by the Canadians. A very good job by New Zealand. But they're going to be disappointed with this one today for sure. I mean, you always want to come away with a, with a gold medal, but the, a better consolation is definitely uh, winning your last race, for sure. So we're, we're pretty happy at the end of the day. I think we cut to our potential, and um, we're, we'll be back next year. We're not here just for that. We were here to win, and uh, to, come, yeah, you know, to, to come up short, so, uh, yeah, hurts a bit. Also for all the people back home that sort of helped and supported us along the way, uh, so we can get the job done. Disappointment for New Zealand, who have not only competed for success, but also for a legendary compatriot. The team around Jack Jordan had to deal with a big loss. Timber sports icon Jason Winyard passed away earlier this year. The nine-time individual world champion leaves a big gap, both as a sportsman and, above all, as a human being. What did Jason mean to you? Um, meant a lot, I guess. Like he's when I first started wood chopping, um, he was he was one of the guys that you always looked up to, and he was that was when he was you know at his best. Oh, it's great when you get to represent your country in a in a team event. Um, when you can combine as a team and compete in those four disciplines really well together and win a world championship, it's um, it's always fantastic to be able to do that for your country. I guess it's always in the back of your mind, thinking about him and what he's done before you. Um, but like I've sort of said before, you can't think about it too much while you're competing because it'll yeah, take your mind off the prize. 100% uh, New Zealand wants to win and uh, try to put it all out there every time we get out there. I think we have a, a pretty good mix of, of young and old, um, me being the old portion of the, <laughs> the equation. Um, do you want to win for him? Yeah, for sure. Along with everyone else back home that's helped and sort of supported me too, yeah. We all love the sport. Um, we all love competing with the axe and the saw and the chainsaw. And the Steel Timber Sports Competition allows us to compete at that high, highest of levels. And that is really what the reward is for all of us. Um, yeah, with him gone now, it's uh, yeah, pretty crazy to think, really, yeah. have very high expectations for myself and for Team USA going for gold. Australia has won the team now a few times in a row. Uh, USA, Australia, it's going to be a good race this evening. We want to just keep it, all those gold medals going back to Australia. I think I have a really good team, so better than ever before. Timber. Team USA versus Three, Team Australia. Two, the U.S. One, threw down the gauntlet go. with the fastest time in time trial. Will they be able to keep up with the Australian side, who is the defending champion? They're so well practiced, so well timed out. And look at this. 
the USA gets an early start on the underhand chop. A bit of a sticky block there for Matt Kogar, but it is Braden Meyer moving to the other side. And we know Braden Meyer can do this at pace with a lot of accuracy. And Braden Meyer is through quick, sending it over to the single buck. USA doing well to keep up with Australia, but Australia is already more than halfway through that single buck. When that cookie drops, it's going to head over to the standing block chop, and it's going to come down to whether or not Mitch Argent can do it against Jason Lenz. Mitch Argent hammering that block. He has a hate on for it. He's moved over to the other side about one and a half strokes ahead of Jason Lenz. Jason Lenz has got power, though. He's got pace. Is it going to be Mitch Argent and Australia? Australia defending again. Unbelievable final here with the US coming in just a hair behind. And Australia remains team world champion defending their title back to back. Australia has won the Team World Championship for the fourth time in a row. They are the defending champions and continue to be the team to beat in this format. Amazing. Give it up for the team of Canada! Uh, I mean, anytime you don't come away with a, with a gold medal, you've always kind of got some stuff to work on but we've got a pretty solid team here and I think it was just all small things that we can do and uh, we've got 364 days to figure it out so we'll be back. USA! Yeah it feels really good uh, we came here to win it's unfortunate we didn't get that but you know second it's all we can ask for. We, we set two, two personal bests for the USA, so I'm glad to make the country proud, and uh, we'll come back hungrier than ever, try to win one next year. Yeah, it's, it's an unreal feeling to win the fourth championship in a row. Um, we've sort of struggled all day, all of us, one way or another, and um, to come from behind like that um, and get a good win is a good feeling. Alright, let's look at the final results. Team Australia, affectionately known as the Chopperoos, take first place. A familiar sight for the boys from down under. Second place goes to the Team USA. They really did an excellent job all night long and even had the best time of the day. Third place goes to Canada ahead of New Zealand. But the European teams are showing that the gap to the top nations is getting smaller and smaller. Which means that future events in the team competition are going to be very interesting. And with that, we say goodbye from Stuttgart. See you next time.